few months, the jury returns for the YSL trial. I'm Blair Miller. I'm Sean Gables. It's also the first time since the original judge was removed. Atlanta News First, Rachel Aragon, live outside the Fulton County Courtroom. And Rachel, a key witness was very reluctant to take the stand today. Very much so, yeah. Star witness Kenneth Copeland, aka Little Woody, returned to the stand today. And much like when he testified back in June of this year, he initially at least did not want to answer the state's questions. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, good morning. My After a two month Judge hiatus, Paige Reese Judge Paige Reese Whitaker, who is now overseeing the YSL trial, introduced herself to the jury after Judge Ural Glanville was removed from the case. I will be the presiding judge in this case moving forward, and you are not to concern yourselves with this change. Judge Whitaker, who recently denied a motion for a mistrial, instructed jurors to disregard some of Kenneth Copeland's previous testimony. The state star witness returned to the stand on Monday, donning a suit and a tie. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Man, y'all piss me off. From the start, he made it clear he did not wish to testify. Copeland saying he doesn't remember much when prosecutors questioned him. Were you present at a gambling house in Lakewood uh, when a shooting occurred? I recall. Copeland says he would lie to police, even if it meant blaming rapper Young Thug, just to get out of trouble. Like I told you before y'all called me to trial, I have lied. I made things up. He says police would often believe what he told them. Detectives thought his brain was the size of a squirrel brain. So you could just tell him anything, he gonna go for it. You're right, at this time, the state's gonna ask permission to treat Mr. Copeland as a hostile witness under pursuance I of 24 Six, six, eleven, Your Honor. Granted. And witness Kenneth Copeland is scheduled to return tomorrow to continue his testimony. Previously and recently, the state did say they still have about 100 more witnesses to call up in this case. We're live in downtown Atlanta. Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First. And Atlanta